It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my uh, Japan Multiplayer Meta Mid-Maxing Guide. Welcome back. We've just defeated the Chinese. And here we are. How are we doing? Good? I hope so. Okay, so at this point, this is kind of like the industrial build-up stage of Japan, China. Well, you are Japan, and you're building, mostly building the infrastructure and industry in China, which we will explain as time goes on. We're going to move that one city to the top, so we'll make sure we repair it. And everything else is looking pretty dandy. Perfect. We're going to have a little cheeky look at Manchu to see if he's researching the right things. That's good. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. Need more oil. And we need more building slots. And a little bit of rubber would be pretty useful too. So we're going to jump back to... Actually, are you still building the infrastructure too? Yeah, we're still working on the infrastructure. You're building oil. You're building oil. Interesting. Don't do that. He's almost finished it. He'll finish in 1940 next year. Uh, no, not next year. The next year after it. Why won't you let me move? Okay, won't let me move it. We won't touch that because I don't want to break the AI, okay? <laughs> and anyway, here we are. All right, let's just uh, grab all my divisions and move those ones in the center here. Oh, we've done that one. You guys are going to go here. You guys. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Just move everything in position. Okay, so we've got a lot of excess factories here, which we will assign at some point, but not right now. We are going to use those factories, but yet again, not right now. But right now, we are going to focus primarily on industry. If there's one thing I could go back and do a little bit differently, is I would have gone for this one a little bit earlier, so therefore we can go for Excavation 3. Now, you need to invest in building up your industry, and you need to get lots of aluminium, which I have lots of deposits, but you need Excavation 3 to do that. One thing you could do right now is do the test the border with the Soviets, which I am actually going to do that now. Of these guys here. Um, yeah, so this is a border conflict between the Soviet Union and Japan. The winner gets um, a free doctrine, 50% boost, and an arm, a 50% boost. Um, and the losers still get some XP from it, so it's, it's, it's a win-win situation. Any more steel from you? Nope. Few more civvies there that need to be repaired. We'll repair those because they're going to be repaired pretty quick anyway. Need to look for deposits of aluminium and see if we can build the infrastructure up. There aren't that many to begin with, but when we finish zero, we'll be able to go for uh, develop China, which gives extra aluminium. We have defeated China a lot quicker than a lot of my rehearsal episodes, so that is a good thing. Even though the bit of a disaster there with the eastern area with the big bulge. Um, we've still managed to make record time anyway, because normally you defeat China around about 1940-ish. Uh, actually, no, maybe late 1939 or 1940-ish. And then we're going to go for zero now. we go for the excavation three. And then we'll work on all the other excavations as well. Everything is looking pretty good. go for the uh, extra agility on our planes which is very good extras so we don't we don't want to use those divisions missing equipment for fighters that's okay I don't care about that we grab all of you guys and move you here so we can consolidate you perfect finish our uh, naval doctrine too for our submarine so we can get lots of detection that we're all in position now, that's fine. We're gonna get rid of the fighters. Actually, no, we're not. How many we've got four of those, so we'll split them into four. Two, yep, one, two, three, four. And we'll move you. Yeah. So we are gonna replace all the carriers planes with a fighter based one. There is one oh I realized they're not split up these, are they? Sort that out in a second. What just happened there? There we go. There we go. Perfect. 
And one of them only has 45, doesn't it? Wanted to make sure we'd knock off five there. Good. I know that some of these got to 58, but I just can't be asked to micro them. I oh, will do it now. There should really be a button that says just send a maximum. That would be really sweet. I don't know why that doesn't exist, but... There you go, Paradox. It's something to implement. Man the guns. Um, are we going to go for that one now? I think that's a little bit ahead of time. I think we're going to go work on excavation now. Work on some more civvies. Keep an eye on your, your puppet state. So one of the focuses that Manchu would go for in a multiplayer game would be vassalize Menchukyo and it would annex them completely. Uh, the AI never selects that one though, uh, but it'd be really useful if they did because then you could build inside of these two tiles. They're not very good tiles, but you can build pop a refinery or two in there, which is most of the time pretty effective anyway. Steel, which we need, loads of aluminium, loads of aluminium and loads of oil. Good. We're going to convert another one of our main armies into one of our artillery builds. Exercise them. Managed to go for Logistics Wizard, which is good because you get that 20% reduction on uh, supply, which is going to be a good, good, good for later on because we are going to be using taking advantage of that. Good, 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 good. Have a look at the political power. I always forget what to spend for my political power. Um, so Fighter Designer, War Bonds. Naval Aircraft Construction. Tommy says you go for the naval construction for this, even though we're not focusing that heavily on naval. I guess it's this one you would go for. Submarines have extra range. Got any more aluminium? No. But we will build aluminium here. Because we want to build this area up, get an extra 9 aluminium, that would make a massive difference. I want to complete those doctrines, that's crucial. And there we go, we have got the zero. So here you can see now that we've managed to skip two techs and just go for the zero here. See, all makes sense now. And the zero benefits from the bonuses that you get for your aircraft designer. Oh, wrong one, that one. There you go. So he gets the extra 20% agility and max speed, which is very good. So now, we are going to make an absolute crap ton of zeros. We are going to make them to the best possible variant, too. Uh, no, no, no. 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 There we go. We only see the ones we want to see. Extra range. And as much XP as possible. Sign as many factories onto there as we can. Shift that to the top. Boom, 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 and we leave six on to tacticals. So as you can see right now, we need a lot of oil, a lot of aluminium, and have a lot of rubber. And this is the reason why Japan needs to expand for resources, because right now, those resources are a bit of a problem, you can see. Alright, everything's going pretty well right now. Resource-wise, everything's good. We're making carrier fighters, that's fine. So I'm trying to sign as many factories onto there as possible. I know we're not producing that many right now because the penalty is too much, but we will import more as time goes on. One thing we're going to struggle with in the short term is aluminium. So I think what we'll do is import some of that from abroad. We'll get that from Germany. That'll be enough. Yeah, that's a lot better. It is the aluminium we need the most of. Everything else is going really good. Exercising you guys to get another big 24 stack of heavy artillery. We're going to work on the artillery next. And then we'll work on, make sure we get all the excavations as well. I think I've worked on the excavations just a little bit late here. Because remember, this is the industrial phase. And you want to try and build your industry as fat as you possibly can. There we go. And once you've worked on the doctrine, the only other ones that will bonus you, benefit you. With this air, su air mer, superiority efficiency. Well, then again, bomber defense as well as tactical bombing is going to be useful too because you are going to tactically bomb Singapore later in the game. So that is kind of useful as well, but we'll we'll talk about more of that later anyway. Oh, I said I was going to go for test the border dispute, didn't I? I'm going to test the border against the Soviets to get that doctrine boost.
All right. So at this point, we are going to be investing very heavily into infrastructure because we need to improve the al 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 aluminium production that we can. More binaries. Escalate the war soon. We've added more aluminium to places inside of China. Uh, where are they? One of them is here. One of them is here. Just the two places. But then you can expand further by adding more. By prospecting for resources. Good. Escalate the war. Escalate the border incident. We should instantly win this. Boom. We win. Yay. Got him, boys. We got him. You guys aren't max trained yet? No. Okay. So supremacy of will is useful. We will go for that, but it's not urgent because we're not at war right now. Kamikaze, you want definitely need that, which we will go for, but we don't need that right now. The next one you need to focus on is the Strike the South Doctrine because you need to take Indochina from France. And when France has fallen, you can do that by decision, which is coming close to that now, because we're heading towards 1940 anyway. Everything is working. Everything right now is going to plan. All the timings are dead on. Is good. Uh, Yugoslavia? Not really. Italy? You can take a little bit of rubber. Oh, we don't need the rubber. It's the oil that we need. Yeah, no, everything else is looking pretty good. No, everything's sweet. Perfect. So as you say, I'm building more refineries instead of the Manchu to try and get as much oil from them as possible. We're getting a slight amount of aluminium and now production of zeros should be a lot better. Yep, only a 12% penalty now. That's good. So we're producing at least two of them a day. I want to try and squeeze out as many of those zeros as possible. Excavation 3 is complete. Uh, at this point, go for concentrated industry so we can put more factory slots inside of mainland China. Uh, ugh, Japan. Alright, we're going to develop as much as we can. They're all about 12 extra. Yeah, most of them are an extra 12 um, aluminium. Yeah, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and do what I need to do first, then talk about it. Okay. My multitasking skills as I'm getting older are not actually as good as they used to be. The Yunnan. Oh, there we've got the Yunnan one there. That's the Shichan. Yeah, that's good. All right, good. You guys are maxed out. Perfect. All right, that's good. So now we can move on to things that we need at this moment in time. And I think computer machine is the one we go for. Yes. Doctrine is fine now. We're going to work on artillery too. Don't need the tungsten. We need excavation too for that. Is that almost done? Yes. Good. The reason you can't... Oh, this is the next one here. Good. Alright, excavations are up to date now. That looks good to me. Work on the air doctrine. But artillery is more important for the soft attack. And strike the south doctrine. Guarantees for all the Axis powers. Strange at the same time. Timed with World War I, World War Two. Hmm. hmm. Okay, so there are a few other areas we need to build up to. We are going to build up some airports in Indochina once, well, once um, France has fallen. Play the feedback game in drinking game. Every time he says, um, I have to take a shot. Everyone 
is on the floor. Don't get anything from uh, Italy, are we? No, it doesn't seem to get anything from Italy for some reason. Might be getting blocked by the straits, might be getting blocked. I'm going to have a little cheeky look at Manchu once again, because I always like to check on them, just to make sure they're researching and doing the right things. So they're working on the oil, that's good. We need excavation. We need to work on the next construction too, so we can get the next one. And everything else is good, I think. Now we're going to need to get the next concentrate, so we need to squeeze as many refineries into Manchu as possible. This is an area that we need to boost, isn't it? Oh, and we need to repair these two. Repair that. Because that way we can get all the resources out of it. Squeeze those resources out. Could probably train another bunch of troops, can't we? Another 14 divisions. Make the division a little bit bigger. Good. As I said, the main objective is to try and get as many fighters as we can. Remember, your objective as Japan is to break Singapore, then to break the Raj afterwards. At that point, you have to defeat the American Navy. At that point, you can invade Philippines and Malaysia and Indonesia, maybe Australia. And if there's time, maybe invade the USA. But if, to be honest with you, if you break Singapore, Raj, and defeat the British, uh, the USA Navy, then it's pretty much over for the Allies in the Far East anyway. Luxembourg has joined the Allies. Really? Infantry expert. Nice. Good. We have a little bit of trouble with manpower. We train a few more divisions than I would have usually. I think I have, haven't I? We'll have to keep a close eye on that one, actually, because I think I might have thrown off the balance a little bit there. I think I've trained too many extra divisions. These divisions, by the way, are just to hold the coastline when the war kicks off. I'll uh, use a different icon to make them stand out. Again, this is a bit of a boring episode because I have to build up my industry in preparation for the uh, upcoming war. We have a little bit of aluminium inside us, but we only get one from that. And we max out that, we get nothing, so it's pointless, really. And again, building that uh, infrastructure to get more aluminium. That is crucial for what we'll be working on. Menchu is still building could be southern infrastructure. Working on that. So what about Siam then? So I told them at the start of the game to build airports. That's maxed. That's seven. Actually, we didn't tell them to do the northern one. Uh, right now, we're having a little bit of trouble with... Oh, one thing I've forgotten to tell them to do. I'm not sure if I did. Did I tell them to increase the port? Did I max out the port? No, I didn't. That's important to do. This is all down to the amount of supply that gets into Siam, and it's really important to get as much supply into Siam as possible because it's difficult to maintain a lot of divisions in the southern tip of Siam to be able to push into uh, Malaya. Otherwise, you are going to find it a nightmare getting into Malaysia. Be a nightmare. All right, so that's all up to date. That's good. Also, one thing to tell, do as well is tell Siam to research radar. I guess I could do that as well. Let's do that too. It's just going to be a bit of a nightmare going back and forth with Siam to tell him to do certain things. Um, where are we? I don't even have radio. Oh, well. Wow. Yeah, so Siam will build a radar here, the biggest one possible, and therefore it gives us an edge for air superiority. Alright, so that's up to date. Artillery's up to date. We could work on more air doctrines, but I don't think that's required. I think we start working on more soft attack for our guns. Yep, we have neglected guns for the, almost the entirety of the game. That's kind of cool that you have the ability to do that, though, isn't it? Uh, builds up tungsten mines. Don't need them. 
need to worry about that. But the Maginot line has been broken directly through the center, with Belgium still being intact. That's pretty funny. Okay, um, we are going to go with an alliance with Siam. Uh, in a multiplayer game, you wouldn't need to do this one because you just they you'd ask Siam if they wanted to join, they'd say yes. But in in this, I guess technically I could t I could do yes, man, couldn't I? Oh, I don't want to do yes, man, because it. The AI might potentially do some other crazy stuff in between, so I don't want to do that. It might cause a lot of chaos. I don't want to do that. Okay, good. I think we're all up to date. Let's have a look. Is there anything we desperately need? So, Supremacy of Will is really useful for extra attack bonus. And obviously, we need Kamikaze for Kamikaze reasons. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Need to wait for France to fall so we can demand Indo China from them. Oh no! Paris! Rip. Rest in peace. And they have accepted. Nice! I think we have an option for some more... Oh, we need... Uh... Excavation 4 for that one. Wow, I didn't know that. Go for that later on, though. Alright, good. So in this case, we build up max uh, air bases in the south. Also, having extra AA in these, this air zone, too, is worthwhile, too. So why not go for that? Are there any areas with aluminium that I've forgotten about? Here, here. Yep, we're all good. Belgium has joined the Allies. Wow. Better artillery, always good. Extra soft attack will help break Singapore. Alright, and resources wise, everything's doing pretty sweet. Uh, the only issue we've got is a slight lack of oil, which we are slowly and truly a bit working on. Just make sure we're getting as many refineries as we can. Yeah, we are. At this point, you could actually think about building some more uh, military factories inside of mainland Japan. Remember, the way it's always going to work is, is if you don't have enough resources, you need to make civvies. If you have enough resources, you make militaries. You're always balancing your resources with your factory output. Remember, that's the key, the key thing to take from there. Okay, the reason why you don't go for air land battle is because you won't be able to get air superiority over Singapore. You cannot compete with the production of, of the United States and um, England. And I just realized I've just made another crucial error. This is actually a really big deal, and I should have fixed this a long time ago. Wow, okay, this is a bit of a bummer. I should have gone for this one a lot earlier. So prioritized naval aircraft construction reduces the production cost of fighter cast by 20%. I forgot to select that. That's a bit of a bummer. I should have I messed up there. Whoops. You look really closely. Now, the production of the of zeros will go from 2.85 to 3.57. That is such a huge difference. I messed up big time there. That's a big fuck up by me. Hands up in the air, guys. I messed up there. I messed up. That potentially has reduced the amount of zeros by maybe 100, 200. There's a bit of annoying. That's a bit of a bug. But remember, every time I make a mistake in this game, it puts emphasis on it. So that means that you will not make that mistake. You, that's right. You there. You will not make that mistake. I think we'll get some oil from Venezuela. There we go. Balance our production out nicely. I think we're going to get rid of those guys. I think we need the manpower right now. Just train the two. Well, I shouldn't have cancelled the whole thing, but whatever. Remember, these divisions are going to hold the front line. They're going to guard the coastline of mainland Japan. In fact, we'll just do that now, actually. We'll cancel your orders. Here, 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 here. There's actually a few areas that you don't need to hold, you know. I don't know why I'm holding that. Uh, you don't need to hold that one, that one, and that one. And these areas, you don't need to hold that either. Just the ports you want. Guys. Yeah, there we go. Done. <laughs> Alright! <clears throat> Production is going pretty well. 
everything is going pretty swell. So the question is going to be now, like when you when you strike Singapore and when you strike the Raj, it's, it's all going to be down to when you're going to be prepared. Uh, you want to build your industry up to an, an, enough so where you'll be, well, self-sustaining, I guess. So you don't need to. Well, you, just all down to how many fighters you can produce before you invade Malaysia. That's pretty much it. We've got the kamikazes. That's awesome. And then we work on Supremacy of Will, and then we're pretty much ready to join the war. In this case, we're going to have to bring Siam into the war as well, because they're not going to join. No, they don't want to join. We're also going to split up the submarines as well, and send them all over the Pacific as well. Um, but for right now, we're not going to do that. We'll do that just prior to the war. It's a bit tedious. I hate doing it, so I want to put it off for as long as possible. <laughs> I'm not being shy about it. Now I just realized too, we merged up the, uh, the battleships, didn't I? I didn't need to do that, so I shouldn't have done that. Never mind. All right, we've got Kamikaze now. We have extra building slots. Oh, actually, no, we don't. What? Oh, there we go. There we go. All of those get assigned directly into uh, into the zeros. Okay, so there is a few areas inside of uh, on well this border that needs to be increased by a massive amount. So right now we need to try and work on the infrastructure in these areas. Um, so this is the port that all the resources are coming to. Here is it. This one. Only level 3, 2. And max that one out. A 3, 3, 4. Max those two. Those two. There we go. There we're done. 50 AA to the bottom because that's less required. We'll do the ones that are a higher priority first. Uh, what did we just finish here? That was concentrating industry, wasn't it? Start working on guns. That refinery done. I'm going to get all the resources from them, even if you don't need it. It doesn't matter. Don't we need no one there as many resources now? Perfect. Manchu. Are you doing all the right research, dude? I'm keeping an eye on you. I never forget about you, my dude. Never forget about you. Yep, you're still doing all the ones I requested. Perfect. A lot of the research is so ahead of time that it's going to take them a while to, to finish them anyway. One thing I have forgotten to do that's really important is to work on more upgraded tech. Logistics is really important because supply here is a nightmare. Logistics is important, then signals, then reconnaissance, then everything else is all good. Like we have Vichy France from Syria invading Egypt. Historical game, guys, by the way. At this point, when you've got the extra political power, you can just sit on your national focus and not go for any extras because there's no, there aren't any others you need anyway. Uh, you go for supremacy of will, and that's pretty much your focus tree done. In a multiplayer game, you get the alliance with Siam without declaring war, and you can declare war without going through all these extras here as well. So there's no need for it anywho. Yugoslavia has joined the Allies, have they? I wonder how that will go down. Do 
once again, bit of a boring episode, guys, but this is kind of like the industrialization of Japan prior to the war, war, the proper war. We got a general that we can promote. Oh, I actually know he'll do. Comes a bit of a tedious job of constantly checking your supply. But you've got to do it because you need to make sure that you are producing as many planes as possible when the war kicks off. Ideally, several thousand. Modify government. Okay, so this is. It's been a long time coming around, but now we actually have extra political power that we can spend. Let's have a look. At this point, there isn't anything to select. So at this point, you just kind of go for the ones to buff your army overall, I guess. Let me have a look. Take your look on what we could go for that will give us the biggest bang for our buck right now. Oh, I think that's the reason why we're having manpower as well, because we haven't gone for extensive. Well, that explains that. The 12 of you boys. All right, we're pretty much going to go from here, guys. So it looks like the next episode is going to be going to go to war against the Brits and then finally join the war and start invading Singapore, then the Raj, and then the Isles, and maybe defeat the British fleet, uh, American fleet. All right, guys, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.